morning, everybody. I always say good morning. I don't know why. It's just because I know my videos post in the morning. And then a lot of the time I do start recording in the morning too. But yes, good morning and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. If you do enjoy this video, please hit the subscribe button and help this community grow. So it's the weekend this morning. I've been extra busy. It's 11 o'clock right now, but I've been extra busy this morning. I <laughs> I made homemade McGriddles for us for breakfast this morning, and then I've been to Aldi's already this morning. I went to the Dollar General, so I'm going to show you what I got at the Dollar General. It's some home decor. I really just wanted some new stuff for my shelves, like the little console table in the um, dining room. I've been struggling with that and I'm just not liking everything I do with it. I'm going to keep trying though. I'm going to keep trying until I like it, you know? And so I'm going to put that and also we're getting a new rug for our dining room today. So I decided to bring y'all along. Plus my house is a little out of sorts and I need to get it together. So as always, we're getting started with these dishes. I've got to knock these out. Like if I have piles of laundry and dishes, I cannot ever feel like the house is clean until those are done. So that's why I always start with that first. So we're going to go ahead and empty out this dishwasher, get these dishes done and get this house looking a-okay. So I want to try a new way in making my own cleaner. Before I was using the vinegar based cleaner and I just couldn't get with the vinegar smell. So we're going to try this out now. So we're using this pure Castile soap and some 70% alcohol, a spray bottle and some distilled water. So hopefully this works out the way that I want it to. So you, we just need one fourth of a cup of this alcohol, which is not open. So, so that is going to be two ounces. So we want two ounces of alcohol. And I just pour it in this container because it has a little drain spout, so it's easier to pour in here. And I over, so two ounces of the alcohol. Let me see. It doesn't, doesn't, it starts at five ounces. So it doesn't even measure two ounces on here. And then it, we're going to want like three drops of this soap. 
So let's see. What? Okay, that is like more than three drops, I guess. And I guess when it says three drops, ooh, that's some strong. Let me uh, add a little bit more. So this soap is peppermint scented. I don't know what three drops is, if that's like how thin the liquid is. I guess it is. I don't know if I'm putting bubbles in here or what, y'all. <laughs> I know I should be good. All right. So just put a little bit of soap in there. I'm not going to add any more. I might add some more. It's, but this is peppermint scented. I couldn't get like an unscented one, but I did get peppermint scented. I do like the way peppermint scent smells. And then we just fill it up the rest of the way with water. Again, I'm going to use this only because it has the little spout. So it's easier to get it in there. And shake it on out. So the peppermint scent on there is pretty strong though. But that alcohol scent is really strong too. So hopefully this water really helps the scent a little bit. Because I was really looking forward to some peppermint smelling stuff. Not some alcohol smelling stuff. So let's see. Let's hope this stuff works way or works better for me. I hope so because this was like $16 by itself. Now I'm going to put all this away and we're going to get to testing it up. So y'all, I love this recipe way better than the vinegar recipe I was using. I will definitely put this in the description below. Like it does still have that alcohol smell, but it's not too bad. It's easy accessible. I can't tell you how fast I run out of cleaners and I'm always having to go to the store and get more. And this, when I run out, I can just make some more. It's really nice. The smell isn't bad at all and I actually really enjoy using this so this is a definite a plus plus it also like this was pancake mix from when I made pancakes this morning so it had been on there for quite a few hours before I got a chance to wipe it off and it came off easier I feel like than it did with any normal cleaner so definitely a win in my book y'all As soon as I'm done getting this kitchen cleaned up, I'm going to show you guys what I got from the Dollar General. Y'all, I didn't get much, but it made such a big difference in my house. It made me feel a lot more homey. I am so happy with how it turned out, so I cannot wait for you guys to see it here in a little bit. But yes, I hope you guys had an amazing weekend. Our weekend has been so busy. I almost didn't even think I was going to get this video in t done in time, but I'm glad I'm getting it done now, and it looks like it's going to be out on time, so I'm so happy for that for you guys. Like, I just always want to be on time. I'm one of them type of people that have to have everything done on time. And I get really overwhelmed if it's not going to be done on time. So I'm so happy that I am getting it done on time. But yes, yeah, so how was your guys' weekend? So this is my little Dollar General haul. So I got this little rustic looking cross. This is so cute and super lightweight. I'm not quite sure where I'm going to put it at yet, but I had to have it when I saw it. And I paid $6 for it. And then I got this plant because I don't have enough of these in the house for decoration. And I just need more decorations. I'm trying to decor a few things. And this was also $6. So I paid $6 for that. And then I also got this paddle stool. Uh, I guess it's a candle holder. I don't know. Let's see. Yes. It says for LED candles only. Sorry, I'm making pizza dough, so if you can hear that, sorry. But, so I got this. I've been wanting to get one for elevation. Look, it even has some blue tints to it. I never noticed that before. But I've been wanting to get some, and I've been having a hard time finding them. So I just went ahead and finally 
got this one. I paid ten dollars for it, which I I ain't even is that purple? Yeah, that's a purple clover. But ten dollars, it was still a little high. I felt like, but I do like it, so I went ahead and got that. And then they have this. All are welcome here. I, this is super cute. And this was only a dollar. So I grabbed that. And then as I was walking the checkout, I found this and had to have it. So I paid $3 for that. I thought it was cute. And then this is super cute as well. It's a chicken wooden. And it says eggs on it. And this was $5. So that's everything I got. And it is Saturday. So I did use the 5 off of 25 So I saved a little bit of money. But yes. All right, so I think I'm going to put this in my dining room. And this is for my dining room as well. And I feel like this is going to go in the dining room too. So I think these three things is the only thing I was able to get for in here. And I am trying to get this shelf decored. I was also thinking about maybe painting this a darker color. I don't know. We'll think about it. But let's see what I can do with it. Because I was messing around with this shelf a lot the other day. And I just can't figure out anything with what I already have. And I do want to keep it. I just want to make it look pretty. So I even took all the spices off of it so I can decorate both. I don't. That's a little wet spot. But so I was thinking that this would look cute right there. Leave mommy's plant alone, honey. And hmm, that ain't gonna work. Let's see. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Well, let's see. See, I'm just not having the best of luck with this shelf. I just, and I'm sure if I went to Hobby Lobby and really took the time to look, I could come up with something, you know. But I've been frequently, frequently, frequenting the Goodwills and the Dollar Tree, and I just haven't had any luck. So let's see what I can do here. Because this chicken, I just paid $5 for it. So that is staying, you know. I think it's cute anyway. Maybe if I just do these two for right now. And maybe some greenery or something in the future. So we'll leave that. And then let's see what I can, if I can fit anything down here. Which I can fit this sign down here. And maybe this. I'm just not feeling it still, y'all. But it is what it is. Let's see what it looks like once it's pushed back. I mean, it's better than it was, right? Yeah, I guess it's better than it was. But I'm still trying to figure it out. But I like it. All right, so this is what we have left for the dining room. And this is the console table that scratches in it. But this is the console table that I am trying to figure out how I want it to be decored. I, I don't like it. And everything I buy, I just don't like <laughs> so far. But I've been shopping Goodwill like this. I had gotten from my dad, and I do like that. This we had on the wall at one point, and we ended up taking it down for something else, and I just kind of ended up putting it here. So let's see what we can do. We also have these up here that I want to see if I can transform a little bit. So let's see what we can work out. So I'm going to start right here, though. So we're going to just, I guess... See what I can do. Take all this stuff off. 
I think I'm going to keep this just because it's tall and I need the height. I'm not in love with this. I just need something with height. Um, so let's see. So I know I bought this for this table, but I did not buy anything to go on it. I was thinking that this plant could go on it, but this plant is heavy and with the kids, it can't happen. And plus, I think, like it actually doesn't look bad, but it just can't happen with the kids. So we cannot do that. So I was thinking, I don't know what I'm going to do with this either. I just knew that I really liked it. Hmm. So I'm thinking for this, I was thinking I'd, I was trying to think of something that I already have that can go on top, like a sign, but ever, all the signs that I have, I am not, I don't want to use, I don't want to move where they're at now, but look, it feels like it's already broken. Let me see if I can tie in that real quick. <clears throat> No, it doesn't tighten. That is horrible. Look at that. I paid $10 for that. That's upsetting. Anyway, but I do have one thing. The, this box on these shelves up here might look good on there. So this is like those two crates that you can buy from the Dollar Tree. I had made this a few years back. So that doesn't look bad, right? Okay, I like that. And then maybe this can go back up there in its place up here. Let's see. Maybe like that and maybe I can find something to go here. That looks nice. Oops, I fell back. That looks nice. I like that so far. Yes, baby. Uh, give me a second, honey. Not, it's a, little, a lot better, but I still have these that I want to use. And I think I'm going to get rid of this for temporary i originally bought this for a centerpiece for my table like that but i just can't have stuff on my table often and i just don't like it anymore so maybe take these apart and set these around like that yeah I really actually like that there like that. I think it looks so cute. Maybe put this here. But then it kind of covers up the words. No, <laughs> I really like that there. But let's see, I don't want to have any of these extra. I might just have to put it away. I really like that. So let's take it off and see. Like that looks cute. I think. So we're going to leave that the way it is, and I think I'm going to use one of these up there to fill in that gap. Let me let me use this one, because I like how the flowers are a little bit taller in the back. I'm going to use this one, and put it up there like that. That looks cute, too. 
so those three pieces I feel like did make a huge difference in this room. I like it. So there's the shelves. I like that. And here's, let me get you. And then here's that shelf. Don't mind my crowded outside. We got to get it cleaned up out there. Kids toys everywhere. <laughs> but I like it. Tell me guys what you think or if you have any ideas on what I can do. I really just want to get one of those really nice wooden windows that's shaped like this one is. But honestly, the way I have it set up now, I actually like it. So I might not even touch it anymore. I might just let it be for a little while. Let me know what you think in the comments. So I've really got a lot of laundry to do, but of course I'm going to procrastinate and I'm going to clean the dining room. When I first started, I thought I was just going to wipe down the table because, you know, I used the table to fold my laundry. And then I ended up like cleaning everything, decluttering uh, the flower pots that I basically been putting everything that I need to do in there. So I ended up sorting that out, getting that stuff put away and all of that stuff before I got to the laundry. But I did eventually get to the laundry, y'all. And you see in the background the boys helping to take the dirty laundry into the laundry room. They have been helping with the laundry a lot more lately. Like even AJ can take the clothes out of the washer and get it into the dryer for me now with a stool. And Austin likes to pull the clothes out of the dryer and put it in the basket for me. So it's like a family effort and I'm super proud of our little system we got going on. Laundry is definitely a team effort in this house because it is never ending for sure. Now I'm going to go ahead and get these pictures hung up. They were in the in the pots that I just decluttered. So I use command hooks and strips to like hang up everything in my house. And after so many years, sometimes they do fall. And so I was hanging a few things that needed to be rehung. Plus this picture that I took off my stand, I decided to go ahead and hang it on the wall in the dining room. And I think it looks really nice where I chose to put it, but I feel like it needs a little something, something all over there too. So once I get it hung up and you guys see, please let me know if you have any ideas, what else I should put over there to kind of like go with it. I don't know. I just go with the flow and I don't even know. I... I love the way my house is decorated, but I don't even know if I decorate good or not. I just know that I like it, and I don't even know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, if that makes sense. I just buy stuff I like and then figure it out afterwards. So this day my husband was outside getting the grass cut and I was in here trying to get this laundry done. But of course we wanted to get some uh, gardening done and of course we do that together as a team since we are learning. We definitely always do it together so if we make a mistake it was a team effort, you know what I mean? So I'm rushing to get this laundry done so we can go ahead and get out there. Also the boys planted some flowers which they haven't sprouted yet but I can't wait for them to sprout because I think they're going to be so pretty but I am so happy y'all I wear a lot of dresses in the summer because it gets so hot and I don't like the heat but I promise you guys I do have like the black tight biker shorts on every time I'm wearing a dress so no worries there y'all no worries <music>
So we're just going to go ahead and snap this stuff on out of here so we can get out into this garden, y'all. So this little tote is our potato tote. We've never grown potatoes before, but after reading some tips online and following some tips on a local gardening group, it says to go ahead and cover the plants every six inches with soil as it grows instead of just filling the entire tote up with um, soil you just do like six inches in the bottom with the seeds and then fill it as they grow so that's what we were doing in that tote and now i'm going to go ahead and repot our strawberry plants so we had strawberry plants last year and they are supposed to come back every year however for some reason ours did not come back so we just went and bought new ones and that's what i'm doing i'm replanting them here three strawberries start in the grow so I'm so excited for them to start coming up last year we had a major issue with the birds getting to them before we could get to them so hopefully this year we can do better we do have nets we still have to put them up out there uh, and we have so much more plants to repot we've been buying more and more and so we actually have to get more pots to repot more and get more tomato cages but I am so excited about our garden this year so here is the boys going ahead they're filling their little flower pots up with the soil and we're going to go ahead and plant their flower rockets that we had gotten from the dollar tree that's what you saw me just doing I was reading the directions trying to figure out how to plant those because it's basically just mash with a whole bunch of seeds all like balled up into like a little ball and you basically just put it in there and have it level with the um, soil and water it twice a day until they start to bloom and then it's once a day so I hope they turn out as pretty as the picture on the box turns out because I cannot wait. I also put the boys names on each of the pots so they know which one they planted and they've been helping to take care of it. Also <laughs> when I was planting the peppers i planted new pepper seeds and when i was planting them aj brought me one of his little sand castles and was like i want to plant one too so we went ahead and planted a pepper seed in there and kind of just let it be left it outside and it actually sprouted so i'm excited to see how that turns out since we didn't really do much to help it grow but this is about what we did in the garden today. We did get the potatoes covered up. My husband, I believe, got, oh, he got our, um, what did we, he was replanting while I was doing this. He was replanting our blueberry bushes in our little barrel bins. And that's about what we got done because then the kids just started playing and we were just outside enjoying the sun. I got a nice little sunburn on my back. So that was lovely. Sorry. What are you doing? I just have to pull the water slide. A water slide? Um, are you making a water slide? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I see. Every time we're outside, I always fill this pool up with water. They love just making like mud pies using the water and stuff like that. So they have tons of fun in this little pool. Good morning, everybody. Well, I guess it's afternoon now. Um, so this is day number three of me recording. I really wanted to get my new rug in this video. So I'm going to go ahead and finish. I'm not going to put my rug down until my floors are clean. And I have to mop my floors when the kids are sleeping, so they're taking a nap right now because the little one will slip and slide all over if I try to mop while he is awake. So, yes, my sink is full of dishes. Yes, I have laundry on the table, but it is folded. It is folded. But I am going to just ignore all of that right now and get these floors done. And then I'll backtrack later because I've only got like an hour and a half until Cameron gets home from school. 
and then I have to pick up AJ and then Cameron has after school thing. And usually while he's doing that, I take the rest of the kids to the playground. And then by the time I get back, it's dinner time. And then after that, it's clean up from dinner time. So I just ain't got the time for it. You know what I mean? So we're going to get these floors done. Come on, y'all. When I have time, I like to clean all the hardwoods at the same time. So what I do is I start from the top, sweep my way all the way down, and sweep all of that, make one big giant pile, and then I do the same with the mopping, and it's just a way to get it all done. It is a big task. It feels like it takes forever. I believe it does take forever. I never really timed myself to do it, but I think it took me a good hour to get all the floors clean, but it was really nice to finally get them all clean. It's been a while since I've been able to do every room and the upstairs because it doesn't, I normally don't have enough time to do all of that. I usually just end up doing the main floor and then I get the other floors um, separately. But so it was really nice to go ahead and get this all done all at one time. I did run out of time. The kids woke up from their nap, but I did get it done and that's all that matters. So I do have the O Cedar Spin Mop like clean water spin. I don't even know what it's called, but it's the one that separates the clean from the dirty water. This is actually my first spin mop that I've ever had. And I see so many other people review that they don't like this one as well as the last one, which I don't have like the last one to be able to compare it to since this is the first one I had. But I really don't like this uh, mop bucket. The blue part of the lid does not come off. My kids put stuff in there and now they're just stuck in there. So now I just have all kinds of stuff stuck in there. And honestly, the water isn't clean. As soon as you put the dirty mop on the clean side, that water is now dirty too because you can actually see it. So like I honestly want to go and get the original one so bad. But I just can't bring myself to buy another one, spend another 40 what, 40 $50 on another one when I already have one. But yes, I do not like this one as much as I think I would like the original.
So as I'm mopping the stairs, I'm also trying to mop the white parts of it. I've tried scrubbing the white parts and all of that, and it just never seems to come very clean. It always looks so dirty. I honestly just don't like the way our stairs look at all. I've brainstormed different things we can do with these stairs, but I just don't know what to do with them, to be honest, to make them, you know, efficient for the kids and to wear you know, they are going to get dirty. The scuff marks on the back of the stairs are going to happen and all of that. I just need something durable. You know what I mean? I don't know if you guys have any ideas or have done anything cool with y'all's stairs or anything for the back. I, I don't want to paint them like the same color as the stairs themselves because then I feel like that would just be too much. But then the white is too light and easily dirty I don't, maybe just repainting it white because they have been like that since we moved in so maybe it won't be so bad if we just touch it up I don't know let me know what you guys think in the comments so we did get a new runner rug to match the rest of the rugs in the house for my kitchen and I'm so happy we did this actually wasn't even that much I think I paid like $30 for it. However, it does move around easy and I am afraid of the kids falling. So I need to find something that actually works to keep the rug from sliding. So if anybody has any suggestions for that, let me know in the comments yeah, as well. I just feel like I ran a marathon, but I know I would probably feel a lot worse if I actually did run a marathon. But that was a lot of work. And then Austin woke up before I finished and so I had to like race him with a towel drying my entire floor so he won't fall because he doesn't understand. Don't walk on it. You're going to fall because he just doesn't care. He does it anyway. So I'm a hot drive. I, I was falling around here hand and knees, hands and knees drying this floor, y'all. <laughs> but I got it done. He did not fall. So we were successful. And I also got all the dishes done. Uh, my oldest will be home in literally five minutes and then I have uh, 10 minutes after he gets home before I have to get out. So I got to get all the kids packed up, make sure they have drinks. I did find out that he might not be going to the after school thing because the teacher that he usually goes with is out today. So... I know my kids, they're going to want to be outside. The question is, is, do I take them to the playground or do I bring them home and let them play at home? Either way, I'm not going to get nothing done. And at, at the playground, my oldest can play basketball. We do have a basketball hoop here, but it's a small amount of space that he has. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. But when I get back, I'm going to try to get the new rugs. You saw me put the little runner rug. Sorry, I keep dropping my camera. You saw me put the runner rug down, but I flipped it upside down to try to let it get um, flat so it's not like all bumped. Uh, like lift it up so I flipped it upside down I'm gonna leave it like that for a little bit and then I'm gonna get I got a new big rug the same size rug as I the one I had in my dining room but I think I'm gonna take my small rug in the living room and put it in the dining room and put the big rug in the living room so we'll see how that works out isn't it so beautiful you guys I can't believe I got all the floors done well hello <laughs> got all the floors done and got the dishes done too i still have one load of laundry to fold so hopefully i can bust that out today and tomorrow will be a new day and lucky little man is loving the rug he's just sitting here playing that's why he's making all that noise he's sitting here playing on the rug with his little car so and maxie is loving it too <laughs> So we just got back in from outside and hubby is home to help me with the rug. So we decided to go ahead and put the little rug that we had in the living room into the dining room and put the new larger rug in our living room. I do like that setup a lot better. I feel like the larger room works a little, the larger rug works a little bit better in the living room. So I'm just cleaning up the floor real quick before we put the new rug down. And you guys, I absolutely love how it turns out yes we did just get the same rug it's just our old rug was ripping up in the corner i don't know if it was ever showed in my videos um but the rug just was folded up and then it started to shred so we just needed to replace it i didn't want to go ahead and have to replace every rug in the house so i just get the same one but i did pay like 
a third of what I paid for it the first time I bought it, what, four years ago. So that was exciting, but I love how it turned out. That's it for this video. I hope you guys got tons of motivation. I love you guys. And remember to continue simply living your best life. Bless y'all. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Thank you.